Um, anyway, so, if you weren't here for it, a couple streams ago, um, I opened up some cards that my friend Patrick sent me. They were like these metalhead collective collector cards. <laughs> I can't do words right now. Um, he sent me some more. And if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure these are Terminator cards. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Official Terminator 2 Judgment Day. 12 movie cards and one offer card. Hey, there you go. If you if you missed the last time when I did a card uh, stream. Official. Let's fucking open these puppies up. <clears throat> All right. All right, you guys ready? Here's the first one. <laughs> Keeping watch. I wish I could show these to you a little bit better. Keeping watch. <laughs> Man. There's like a lot of shit on these. It basically explains the movie. I don't think I'm gonna read through them though. I mean, actually here, maybe there's some cool facts. After Terminator helps John free his mother from the mental hospital, the three take refuge for a few hours at the closed gas station. Terminator stands watch while John and his mother sleep. The machine sentinel stands motionless throughout the night. Only Terminator eyes move. The Termo Vision, what? Termo Vision, which is high tech night vision elements. Uh, tracking anything that moves. But only the lights of an occasional car invade their hideout. Alright, next card. Oh my god. <laughs> the battle is joined. Inside the steel mill, steel mill, uh, the T-1000 catches up with John, Sarah, and Terminator. The cyborg re reloads and raises a grenade launcher, but the T-1000 smacks the weapon out of his hands. Terminator lunges, slamming the T-1000 against the wall with all his weight. The battle is joined. They're in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna start saying that. I'm in hand I was in hand-to-hand -hand combat a minute ago. Uh, Sarah and John <clears throat> flee as the two machines from the future fight to decide the human's fate. That's pretty tight. <laughs> there better be one-handed shotgun guard somewhere. There fucking better be. All right, here's the next one. This one's, come on, mom. We gotta keep moving. Damn, I can't, I can't get a good shot of this one. Come on, mom, we gotta keep moving. Stupid camera. Um, the T-1000's helicopter slams into the back of the SWAT van carrying John, Sarah, and Terminator, blowing one of the van's tires and knocking it out of control. <laughs> oh my god. The van flips on its side and grinds to a stop. Dazed but unhurt, John and Terminator gather a... a Bandolier of grenades? I've never heard that. A bandolier. Is that what that thing's called that they go on? A bandolier of grenades and a right gun to help the wounded Sarah from the wreckage. Uh, come on, Mom. We gotta keep moving. John urges her. Yeah, these cards are fucking dope, dude. This one's called Director and Actor Confer? What do Confer? What do that word? This is a boring card, TBH. Boring! Let me confer with my colleagues. Sounds like a made up word to me. Uh, it's a bunch of words. For the final shots of the movie, director, producer, James. Yeah, that's a bunch of words. I'm not reading that one. Alright. Let's see. What's this? Oh, shit! Airborne Kawasaki! Look at that fucking motorbike in the air. That's pretty tight. Uh. Relentlessly chasing John, Sarah, and Terminator, the T-1000 disguises itself as a motorcycle cop and rides into the Cyberdyne Systems building, up the stairwell, and onto the burning second floor. Damn, that's badass. Uh, when it realizes that the three have escaped in the SWAT van, the T-1000 goes after them by the shortest route. It guns the police bike at full speed through the window wall of the building, rocketing towards a police helicopter hovering outside. Man, these cards are fucking tight, dude. All right, next one. <laughs> Onto the battlefield. It's just like a dude running away from a bunch of explosions. It's hard to show you on camera. It's the battlefield. Los Angeles, July 11th, 2029. Shit, that's gonna be soon, you guys. <laughs> the human survivors 
of a nuclear war are now locked in mortal combat against killing machines built by Skynet, a military supercomputer that has turned on its human creators. The humans face the deadly force of the Skynet arsenal, which includes humanoid terminators, flying robot gun uh, platforms, and massive hunter-killer tanks. As explosions light the sky, the machines overrun a human firing position, cutting down resistant soldiers. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, this next one is Terminator goes after the T-1000. He's, he's pretty beat up in this scene right here. <clears throat> Which one was this? So this was Terminator goes after T-1000. Uh, let me confer with my calendar. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start using that word now. Good idea, Wallaby. Uh, in the steel mill. I already read this one. This is a duplicate. Hi, Stone. We read that one. Anyways, uh, what's this one? Oh shit, this one's called Let Me Try Mine. I like this card. Uh, Terminator's fat 40 millimeter HE grenades come in handy. It's Cyberdeen, where servo controlled door locks are making it difficult for Dyson, Sarah, John, and the Terminator to enter, enter the artificial intelligence lab. Dyson uh, tries his electronic security guard, but nothing happens. Arnold comes in and says, Let me try mine, Terminator says. He grabs a grenade from his bandolier, drops it in the breach of the M79, and fires it at the door. Ba boom Instantly, entrance is gained. Nothing but net. <laughs> Alright, next one. Next card. Oh, Linda Hamilton, a.k.a. Sarah Connor. All right, the Terminator, Linda Hamilton, played the role Sarah Connor, a lonely waitress. I like how they explain her. A lonely waitress turned courageous survivor. Hamilton is a veteran of both the small and big screen. I don't care about this one. This is just telling me about the actress. I mean, she's cool, but whatever. I want to learn. I want to read about like gunshots and you know explosions. All right, T1 the T1000 hammers Terminator. Uh, okay, guys. This card is called the T-1000 Hammers Terminator. But look at the picture. Fuck, I wish you could see this a little bit better. That's kind of funny, right? He hammers them. The T-1000 Hammers Terminator. <laughs> From behind, huh? Uh, the impasse of T-1000 balanced among the huge steel mill machine in the heart of the final panel battle has his hands full. In one hand, it wields a steel bar that Terminator once embedded in its body. With the other, it grasps the body of Terminator, which the T-1000 brutally smashes uh, again and again with the bar before hurling battled Cyborg down to the landing below. <laughs> Hammer boys, I like it. All right. Enrique Salcedas, Enrique Salcedas compound in Oasis in the Desert. I butchered the shit out of that, my bad. Edward Furlong and uh, Arnold, like hella not zooming in, but you get the point. Uh, <laughs> also this, hey? Uh, John and Terminator examine Sarah's weapons cache, buried in the sealed room beneath the sand. The three are in Sharon Mesa, out in the desert just north of the border, where Sarah's old friend Enrique has slashed guns and ammunition, has stashed guns and ammunition for her. It's a seemingly barren wasteland, littered with a couple weathered house trailers, assorted junk vehicles, and a stripped hooey, hooey? <laughs> helicopter. For Sarah, though, the compound holds vast riches. All right, this is the last card, chat. Last card. Armed and dangerous. <laughs> Fucking armed and dangerous. Cyberdeen and its dangerous research are almost history, but Terminator still has to get John and Sarah out of the building alive, and a deadly SWAT team is getting in the way. He pulls her grenade from the bandolier over his shoulder, loads it, and fires. Wait, we already did this one. I think I got through them all. Damn, we did all the cards already? That was fast. I think we had some duplicates. That was definitely one we already read. Well, there you have it, chat. I think we got them all. I'm making sure I didn't. I'm just making sure I didn't miss any. I want to, like, put these in a fucking, like, card collector book or something. Dude, I hella... I honestly... I thought maybe I missed one. That was all of them. <laughs>
So it also came. I love this shit when I look up when I open old shit. Like you could basically send this in with like a check and some money, and they will mail you three big colorful action photos. I like really want to do it and see what happens. This was from 1991. You think they're still doing those photos? And I mail them a check? <laughs>